In this series, I'm going to teach you how to win every single bad fight game. Basically, I'm going to give you very very thoughtful tips and strategies about the game mode itself. This is how to win. In this part, we are going to talk mainly about block placements. The tutorial is going to be in two phases. The first one may improve your game sense and others, while at the second one, we are going to focus on what kind of block placements you can use in your gameplay. So, my first tip for you may be one of the most important one, and that's simply being calm. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> if you're calm while playing bad fight, then your block placements are more likely going to be accurate, and even your aim will be much better. Trust me. Being calm while playing bad fight will save all your misplaced blocks and it's also going to be much harder for your opponent to kill you if you're focusing. This also contains patience which can literally save your life if you're doing block placements. Patience is the key for you to time all your hits, your blocks and your movements perfectly together to make an unbeatable playstyle. Oh, and before I get more into the video, I just wanna say that I'm not a god player at Bad Fight, but I still made this video because I hope that I can still have other players. So, as I mentioned before, patience is literally the key to everything, and you may be like, nah Gortex, why are you capping? But the truth is that it is. Patience, it just simply makes your place type better. Let's say that you're doing a block placements and you have to kill your opponent before you could get his bed. Your opponent is kinda at the other end of the island, but if you just start breaking his bed, he could eventually reach you and even kill you. What will normal players do in this case? Just run at him, right? Yeah, but then let's say that he literally just waits for you with some gut tier block placements. The question right here is. Are you gonna die? Um, yeah, pretty much. That's why if you have some patience and you wait him at the other side of the bed, then you may have some chance to get it broken. Second phase. Moving on to one of my favorite thing, block placements. I'm going to show you 5 different kind of block placement strategies that could basically just lead you to victory against your enemy. The first one is going to be what I call the verse cutting. Um, crazy name, right? <laughs> In this case, I'm just going to come here, place block and jump over it while placing two more blocks on the top. This is going to make us a pillar, which you're going to use in almost every kind of block placements you do. After you manage to learn how to make a pillar like this, then you can do the verse cutting where you basically just place three blocks like this and one more block as a hat eater. And when you do this against your opponent, you're just going to break this block right here and run through and try to hit your enemy or you could even just juke him. Yeah, that's it. And before I move on to the next one, I have to say that all these things I'm gonna show you now can be used however you want, it's basically just on your creativity. So, our second one is pretty similar, you just have to make this pillar again and put blocks above you and right here as well. Now you get two lines and you can also combine this with other kinds of strategies, you know, you know. And let's say that he breaks these blocks and tries to attack you from this way, then you could eventually just place a block right here, blocking him and basically just hit him back, and if he gets enough knockback you could literally get him out of here and just do the procedure again. The second thing that could happen to you is that he just tries to jump over, then it's pretty simple, you just basically rotate. The third one is what I really really like, this is also making a pillar, this doesn't need to be 3 blocks high though. And now what you're going to learn is basically just placing 3 blocks like this. And from now on <laughs> you just have to repeat the whole process till he realizes that he's brain dead and you're just doing the same thing on him over and over. And again if he would just come on the top then it's pretty much simple, you just rotate. The fourth one is nearly my favorite. This is the famous bad defense trap. I've always thought that this is hard to do, but as I did it for the first time, I realized that it's pretty much the easiest skill you could ever learn. All you gotta do is just to put two blocks here, then two two blocks here, and also one or two up and one down. This is pretty much depending on the current situation. 
let's say that he breaks that rule, because sometimes these little monkeys are able to, then you're just going to place some more blocks securing them back in their own cage. And the final one is literally just jamesing. Um, I mean like, that's how others call it in the community. This is pretty simple, you just place 2 or 3 blocks upwards this pillar, and build a straight line and you just break a block in the middle, pretty much wherever you want, you know, and just hit your opponent. There, you could also fill this back and try again, maybe on a different spot. In the next part, we are also going to learn about defending all this, because yes, I'll try to make a little series from this, because I want to show and teach you guys everything I know about the game mode. And also stay tuned for the next part, because trust me, it just keeps getting better. I will Scrotex, peace.